According to the United States Department of Veteran Affairs, of the 16 million Americans who served in World War II, 325,000 were alive in the year 2020. Cedillo Frank Gonzalez served 20 months in the U.S. Navy during World War II. Five months before the Japanese surrendered, he fought in the Battle of Okinawa, codenamed Operation Iceberg. The initial invasion of Okinawa on April 1, 1945, was the largest amphibious assault in the Pacific theater of World War II. It was also one of the bloodiest. 12,000 Americans and 100,000 Japanese died in combat. Gonzalez lived to tell the tale. Today, he is 95 years old. Yeah, Okinawa. We hit it there. We hit it on April 1st, on a Sunday, 1945. It was scary. It was scary. At, and a typhoon hit us at that particular time on top of that. It was, it was rough. I was more afraid of the typhoon than what I went through, you know. But the uh, kamikazes, they were all over us. They, were, they came, each one had their own mission. And a, a lot of them were blown off the air, you know, by our aircraft. They were handing us cotton to put in our ears because it was going to be popping all over the place, you know. And I saw this one, and into the water, smoke coming out of there. And uh, and I saw an amphitrack uh, being blown out of the water with the guys in it. I mean, you could see, uh, oh could see the bodies flying in the air. Oh, that was terrible. Remember President Roosevelt died when we were pulling out about 12 or 13 days after. Oh, some of the guys liked uh, our President Roosevelt. They said, no. He died, now what's going to happen to us? Some of the I heard some of the guys saying he was very well liked. Somebody counted about 31 ships with us. And we were like in the center of all of them, you know. Okinawa was the last one before they, they uh, dropped the bomb. That's what stopped everything, you know, that bomb killed a lot of people with that atomic, you know. But uh, I don't know, if, uh, if they hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't be talking to you because we would have went all the way into Japan, you know. Yeah, that was uh, going to be the next battle. But uh, no, a lot of the guys were very happy. Not when the bomb, when they, they, we weren't celebrating then. It was when they, uh, Japan surrendered. Oh, everybody hollering all over that ship, you know. So we're going home at last, you know. Yeah. No, when the when the bomb was dropped, you no, know, everything was quiet. Yeah. There's nothing to celebrate about, you know. Thank God I'm still here to talk about it.